X to Z exhibit exhibit in the building right what now. What up? What's good? Man, it's good to see you. Oh man, it's good to be here, man. I you know what? I've been waiting a long time to get this out to the public and it was only right that I come here to you guys first. The new it too, fella, you know what I'm saying? Yes, your tease, you guys are killing it. So Thank you, man. Thank you. Know, you. It's only right I, to bring it through. You know what was really cool to see, man, Felly, like it it's really cool to see that you were here and this was off the air and just hearing exhibit saying, Man, I'm really excited just to hear what the people are talking about and yeah. just that genuine excitement yeah i still love this after i so after a few yeah. years in the game yeah i still it's, love this i mean and that's why i feel like it, it took you know six years to actually come back because unless i feel that energy and that feeling about the music i do myself a disservice and the fans a disservice by not giving them when i feel like my hundred percent i was on the ground for two weeks in iraq uh, of last year uh, into last year when they were deploying a lot of the soldiers home and I got to shoot a documentary out there. I got to shoot a video for Napalm, which is actually dropping this week as well. Wow. The video itself. And, uh, I mean, it was it was intense to be out there, you know. So once we got home, you know, and I saw all this footage and I saw how the video came together, I was like, that's the name of the record. Napalm. Boom. Let's there, do it. That was the inspiration behind that. Yep. I, that must have been, like, were you scared? Like, I would have been. No. Nah, not... Even if I feel like I'm protected, yeah. that's what even more of a reason why I would be afraid. Only until. We were landing where it just really hit me like, oh, uh, I'm in Iraq. Iraq. <laughs> um, there's a war going on over yeah. here? Yeah. <laughs> no, we flew commercially into Kuwait first. Oh, okay. And then uh, we flew Blackhawks and C-130s into actual uh, Iraq itself. That's insane. Yeah, Did yeah. you ever imagine in your life that here comes this dude and Never. now you're with the country's yeah. elite? Yeah. And a Blackhawk for, flying in formation. Right. Like, for real, for real. <laughs> That's crazy, but it oh was fun. I was, you know, I was, I, I, you know, it was only a couple close calls out there, but still, I mean, it's, it, it was it, for a great like cause. Life threatening yeah. close calls. Yeah, well, we got targeted by a couple RPGs. Once flying in over Baghdad, going landing into Baghdad, the sentries went off. We had to do a combat landing, and when that means that you have to drop five thousand feet out of the air, um, shoot onto the, the the runway, so you don't get because there's all heat targeting out there. Mm -hmm. So when the sentries went off, I had to lock, lock in, lock in, and they did some evasive maneuvers and did a combat landing. The second one was we were doing an interview in one of Saddam's palaces where they had his house. And then, um, w w you know, they have missile defenses on the bases around us. And RPG made it past the defense. So we had to, they hit the sirens and we had to drop everything we were doing, run into these bunkers. And then uh, the, the RPG landed, you know, uh, you know, a few a few hundred yards from where yeah. we were, were, were standing. So you just telling me that story is like my heart is. Yeah, like yeah. But I mean. Out. We were there. It was intense. Yeah, it was, it was pretty intense. But, if you know, they lived that every day. You yeah, know, and yeah, I was yeah. I was only there and experienced it twice, so I can't imagine putting in years and years of that. And then you know, it's a thankless job. So you know, yeah. for so for you, me man. to go out there and and rock for them, I rocked nine shows, and it, it's all online too. I got trailers up that you know dictate what we were doing out there. I did a documentary over there called Coming Home, mm -hmm. and what that is is basically. Uh, my idea was to be open-minded when I got on the ground, not to have any kind of political affiliation or go in with a preconceived notion like, this is how I feel about the war. So one thing that hit me off top was, you know, when I landed, I was meeting people and learning their first names, and, you know, they were telling me their stories and, you know, all this stuff. I was like, you know what, we, we at home just call them troops, and we just put numbers on the screens, and we just say, this many troops lived, this many troops died. <clears throat> But when you actually go and sit down and talk to them and realize that, yo, these are, you know, people that are scared to death. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people were, you know, were very gung-ho about it. A lot of people were just like, you know, I just you would never suggest this to anybody in my entire life if you don't do it. You know what I'm saying? So we got different, you know, outlooks on why people were there. And then a lot of reasons, man, it was just like four questions I asked them. I asked them you know, uh, how what they were, what the rank was, and how long they had been there. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get home? And, you know, like, like humanize them. Like, these are people like you and I that are doing the job. And <laughs> a lot of the answers that we got, were will blow you away. Some guy was like, you know, my wife is cool, but I really love my motorcycle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he's like, you want to wow. see her? I was like, it was your wife? He's like, no, my motorcycle. He pulled out the picture from his little fatigues and he, 
it was crazy. A lot of guys, no, a lot of a lot of guys were like, "Yo, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna, you know, bang my girlfriend and I'm gonna go around the corner and, and then be with my wife." I was like, "Yo, oh you know, God. you know, she's gonna see this." He's right. like, "Yeah." Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. An episode of Cheaters? Yo. <laughs> then guys are like, yo, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a rib sandwich from this, you know, such and such place. Right. And I can't wait to get home. Wow. It's just really dope to really, really like honest. give them a, yeah, give them a, a, a way to, you know, release. Yo, Felly, and I want the full treatment, homie. <laughs> yeah, you got Don't go right. tensy on the sirens and the bombs, G. <laughs> And the bringing it back. No, I'm just kidding. Yo, yo, world premiere, my first single off Napalm is Up Out The Way, featuring E-40, produced by Rick Rock Beats. Let's go. Power 106.